Hello folks, today I'm going to tell you about a problem. This edge right here I don't keep up with very well because pretty much every time I have my edger or my rotary scissors out, that hose is always laying in the live edge and it's taking up space, it's always strewn about, sitting all over the lawn, that hose is always in the way. So that's your excuse, huh? Men, always blaming it on the hose. Uh... So let me give you my review after one year of using this thing. It's complete garbage. It broke after literally, literally one use. The part where the hose plugs into the back of it just busted and water was spraying everywhere. But it's been hanging up here on the wall for about a year now and I've had my Ely hose reel sitting in the shed. And within the past week, when the Lawn Shark and the Lawn Engineer have both been putting out content with their Ely hose reels, I was like, ugh, fine. I guess I need to get mine put up. And I've got another hose reel I wanna show you too. So the mission for today is to get my hose management in order. Let's do this. So I got the extra capacity kit for mine, basically. Extra capacity kit goes on the reel to make it fit more hose on there. So you can put a longer hose. I don't remember uh, what the recommendations were for extra capacity kit as far as how much hose you can put on it without it or with it, but it's on the website. When I was ordering, it's all right there. And it says, if you want to put this much hose on there, get the extra capacity kit. So I did and the hose that I got to go with this. Ah, is the Flexzilla. So I bought all this stuff um, and I'm just kind of done going cheap. The Ely hose reel is more expensive than that plastic piece of junk that, like I said, broke after a day. Um, Talk to Scott Price, LT Turf season two, episode two, I'm pretty sure. I've referred to Scott Price many times before. <laughs> But he also got the cheap plastic one, the same exact one that I had, and he said it broke after just a little while. It just didn't take very long. So he went with the Ely hose reel also. And so that's where I'm at. I'm just done spending, you know, small amounts of money over and over and over again because the cheap things that you buy break and just going with the thing that's gonna last for a long, long time, including the Flexzilla hose, the Ely hose reel. Uh, Quick Connects, so I had the cheap plastic Quick Connects and the pla anything plastic when it's out here in the sun for all summer long, you guys know this, gets brittle and it starts to crack uh, really easy. And so my plastic Quick Connects lasted like a, few, a couple months maybe, I don't know, a few months, something like that. And so I replaced all those with the cheaper but metal and rubber ones from Lowe's. Those lasted about a year and now they're getting kind of gummed up and stuck. So. I'm also in the market for Quick Connects. Tell me what your favorite Quick Connects are. I wanna get some of those like super easy, just like plug and go Quick Connects and put them on all my stuff so I don't have to ever stop and like screw in anything. I'm, I, I'm ready to commit and just spend the money to get all of my stuff hooked up <laughs> just so that I don't have to even think about it. I don't wanna screw anything in anymore. Even like every sprinkler, my power washer, everything needs to have a Quick Connect on it so I can just plug and play. So right here in the instructions, it gets to where it tells you like there's different ways to do it. So they've got it a wall mount. Dino, the lawn shark, he did it on a like a four by four, like a post right beside his wall. And then you can set it freestanding on the ground or they have the portable hose reel with the wheels. The lawn engineer, Vince has that one. So I'll definitely link the lawn shark's video about his uh, Ely hose reel. But then Vince, if you have a video where you're highlighting your hose reel, I was looking on your channel, I'm trying to find one where you specifically talk about it. If you have one, send it to me and I'll make sure to link that in the description as well so people can go see those other types also. Well, it did rain just a little bit, but uh, it was okay because I was able to put this thing together. Not that it was difficult, I actually did part of it while I was holding the baby with one hand. 
So yeah, on a scale of super easy to put together all the way to Ikea furniture, I give it a thumbs up. Okay, well I hit a little bit of a snag. You're supposed to feed the female end of your hose that connects through here. There's a little strap on the back side. And then it feeds through and connects here. From a Flexzilla hose, this giant thing won't fit through that strap. I don't know how important that is. I don't know how important it is to put the female end of the hose through that little strap. But if that is important, just know that you can't use a Flexzilla hose with the Ely hose reel if you want it to fit through that strap. Maybe there's a different way to connect it to that, I, you know, but just the way that they're made, that won't fit. Just a heads up. So I went and got the other hose and the female end of this hose won't fit in that loop either. Okay, so there is a screw that tightens that loop that's on the back. However, in my defense, it was all the way loose. I, I checked, I went back and made sure that I wasn't just being a moron, but it was all the way loose. So the female end of a couple of these hoses still doesn't fit when it's all the way loose. I think that's weird. And not even the male end of the Flexzilla. Well, let's see how it unrolls real quick. On there but how I had to do it was I had to basically take this entire thing apart feed put the strap around the flexzilla hose first feed it through there <laughs> wrap it back around this mechanism so that now I can tighten it and it will tighten on the flexzilla hose so if you have an Ely hose reel and you can't get your female end or your male end through this loop you can take this thing apart take the nylon strap out of the metal piece, wrap it around there, and then loop it back through the metal piece. Just make sure you pay attention when you're taking it apart how it goes back together. So that was my uh, my hack on how to get the Ely hose reel to connect to a Flexilla hose. Okay, sorry, another quick little update. I just wound up the Flexilla hose, the 100 foot uh, full, so it was running water. I didn't want it to be like squishing down in there so that if I tried to like unwind it halfway and then turn it on that it would get like kink because this is way more flexible than a normal hose. So I was afraid it would squish on the reel. So anyway, it was running and there was water in it. It was tight when I rolled it up and it still takes up less space than the other. I'm wondering if I can't get 50 more feet on this Ely hose reel with the Flexzilla, which then would allow me to get all the way over to Sweet Oak Hollow number two from here. So that's interesting, and I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, now to the other hose reel, ha <laughs> So yeah, this basically just goes like that. Easy peasy, huh? Matching or rejecting, pretty straightforward. Well, looky there. Hey, Theo! Dadgummit left tool. This is how not to put a hose reel up. Shut up! ideal one I think is the latching zone setting. So you pull it out, every time it clicks, every like three feet or something, it locks into place, then you can water and then there you just See how far it can water that way, Theo. You think it can water up my lawn out this way? Let's see.
back in. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah wait. Can I try? You guys gonna do it? Can you do it together? Nope. You gotta go all the way. Nope. That's all of it. Yep. Okay, so now it's locked. So to get it to go back in, you gotta pull on it a little bit. All right, now come back in. All right, walk back in with it. Got it. <laughs> so this hose reel is going to be for the garden area. This is a 70 foot hose reel, which is plenty long to reach everything we need in the garden, even over to the wildflowers from Bamert Seed Company, by the way. Thanks, Bamert Seed Company. Put those down in the fall. I'm gonna put more down here, actually like in two days. So that'll be cool. Get more wildflowers growing over here. And then all the way around to the front of the shed. It'll reach over there to water those plants and even reach like half of the yard over here. But um, pretty cool. So it's got the locking mode and then it's got the free, what is it called, free run? Yeah, the free run mode where it's not locked and you can just like in and out, water something and just go right back and it won't lock. Um, I think it's pretty neat. That was even easier to install than the Ely hose reel. This was a cinch, like four bolts <laughs> and you're done. That was easy peasy. This will reach like half of this yard over here. I don't know that I'll actually use this for water because the Ely hose reel will easily reach that section. So I can water with that one. And that is a half inch hose and this, or sorry, and this is a half inch hose and that's a five eighths. So if I'm going to water with a sprinkler, I probably want the five eighths inch. But yeah, no, I'm pretty impressed. I like it. I think I said this already, but I bought both of these hoses, the Flexzilla here, the Flexzilla and the Ely hose reel on the side of the house. And I just kind of got tired of going cheap with stuff, going with the best, so it's going to last for a long, long time. Um, there's lots of other videos on YouTube, you can go look them up, of people talking about leaving their Flexzilla hoses out in the winter time and not having any problem. They're just, there's no metal in here, there's no plastic, they don't freeze. Um, pretty cool stuff. So anyway, I've got a little bit more to do with like hose management stuff I might show you here. So now for that last little bit about hose management, a tour of where the hoses are around my house. You never thought you'd be so excited, did you? Okay, so here it goes. First, a little review on that beehive uh, sprinkler timer there. Three thumbs down because it does not have a manual uh, turn on, whatever. It doesn't have a manual bypass. I have to have it on my app and if the internet resets in my house, that thing shuts off and it won't come back on until I reset it. So my wife was out here the other day, I was at work, she wanted to turn water on, she could not. Three thumbs down, beehive. I gotta replace that with something else. Now, I, in their defense, I got that on clearance last fall, so their new version of whatever that is is probably better. I, I, I'll have to look into something else, but I'm gonna get a new timer for that. Anyway, hose coming out this way, going under the mulch, down dahlias. What do you think about the dahlias, guys? By the way, the dahlias, we left them in the ground all winter long this year. Scott Price, uh, LT Turf, season two, episode two. Scott Price did that one time and it, it just motivated me or inspired me. We said, we're going to try that because digging them up and setting them out, it sucks. So we did it and look at that. It worked amazingly well. I think like two of them didn't come back. So anyway, back to hoses coming under the mulch all the way over here, spiraling around the gutter in a cool way. And then the Ely hose reel with the Flexzilla 100 foot hose right here that can go out to the yard. The other section, Sweet Oak Hollow. Again, I might put 50 more feet to go out to Sweet Oak Hollow number two and it can go all the way out to that area but I've got another hose that's gonna come out that direction we'll get to that later starting back at the timer three thumbs down hoses coming underneath the mulch going past these dahlias over here the dahlia bed all the way to a splitter so this splitter goes off to where one hose goes out through the fence and that's in the front yard. it's mounted right here on a reel and that hose goes to the front yard the other side of the splitter comes out here and then right over here in front of the gate oh I had to do a little bit of repair I had to repair this because I hit that with my power rotary scissors had to do a little repair, but I like that thing. That came from Lowe's. It worked out really well. It gets really tight. I think that's going to be a thumbs up. That's a good review from me. Now, coming in front of the gate, my hose was just laying here forever. I would just roll over with my lawnmowers. It was no big deal, but I did get a little PVC pipe and I put the PVC pipe under the fence or under the ground in front of the fence, in front of the gate so that I can go back and forth with my mowers. I need to put some more sand there and when the temperatures warm up, the Bermuda will cover that up. You'll never know, but the hose goes under the ground 
comes up here, rides along the fence. I even did some uh, we deet deet didn't. I did some we deet de deet de deet didn't here for you guys. Now that's if you know me at all, if you've been following this channel, you know that we deet de deet is not something I like to do. So that's only for people that are special. And you guys, you guys are special. Some of you are a little extra special. But anyway, we come along the fence, going along this way, and then it's just extra hose there because I had a longer hose than I needed. And then it hooks to the Flexzilla hose reel that will supply the garden and the front of the shed and all the stuff out here and the wildflowers that you saw just a little bit ago. It has been raining for two weeks straight. Yes, actually raining for two weeks straight. So none of these hoses have gotten any action recently. But now we're on the other side of the house. Let's take a tour on this end. The little Orbit cheap timer, that thing leaks. Uh, again, plastic, so over time it just wore out and it leaks and I turn it on, but it has a manual pass through. So you can put it on manual and just turn the water on like you normally would, on, off, and the manual thing will let it go through wherever you want. <sighs> so, I, anyway, gonna look for a better one there, a better one for the other side that has a manual, a manual bypass, but also a timer. So anyway, hose coming out here, this one just goes right here, winds up on that side. So th this is one of the cheap things that just from Lowe's or whatever that's mounted, I guess it's metal, so it's not terrible, and this one doesn't get used a ton, but if that wears out, you can best believe I'd probably be going with an Ely on this side, right her. And then we come out, go in the other direction, past the hydrangeas here. These little beauties are supposed to be pink and hopefully we get them to grow a little bit better this year. They're just not thriving. Anyway, back behind the air conditioner, behind the hostas over here, right along the edge, hiding underneath the brick border to the sidewalk, coming out of the garage, past the trash can, and then over here, hanging up on the fence. So this can supply the stuff that's on. There's a bed on the other side of the fence, more hydrangeas right over there. So this hose can be used for that sort of stuff. But why in the world is there a sprinkler hooked up to that. I, like I said, I have not used it. It's been raining for two weeks, but wait, what the, what in the world? Is that Kentucky bluegrass popping up? Where did that come from? <laughs> Dum 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 d